What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode and the final episode of Factory Town. The operation left now to complete is the Omni Temple. Nothing else is required. We have completed all of the prerequisites to that. And you can see on the screen there that level 10 research was also completed in the last episode. Now, to do the Omni uh, Temple, there is a lot of research required and a lot of resources required to do it. One of the main things I need to fix or improve is the research itself. So most of the playthrough I've survived on the lower research levels. So you get one or five per research and it's been fine. But to unlock the stuff for the Omni Temple... We need thousands, and we need thousands of, like, every colour. So my first job in this episode is to significantly increase the throughput of the magical research, and that means that the original books, level 1 books, are not going to cut it, and we need to get them up to level 2 or 3, but I think 3 is a bit excessive. It will take me longer to do that than probably it would to complete the game, so... Looking at them, we'll probably look at doing level 2 research books. And that all starts over here, where the original essence is going to that train station that you remember that we've been using up until this point, getting them essences over to the temples. Now we need the essences to go to the wizard towers to upgrade the books. So what I'm going to do is take out the train station from there and make it go along that cliff face. Just to keep it out of the way, but it is still necessary because we still do need the stones. And likely the Omni Stones that we were making previously, we're going to need them for the Omni Temple as well, I would imagine. I mean, it's the, the clue is in the name. So we're going to do exactly the same process, but just make the train go over there out of the way. To give us all of this land where them four belts are coming down to do a crap ton of wizard towers. And then we're going to need to get the magic books involved now if you remember there was that giant uh, boom of belts going over to the school where the the level the tier one books were all i've done is basically turned it and brought it over here so that it now bumps into some wizard towers like this so they need to be cleared up one per belt i don't want them all different belts so each belt needs to be one type and yes that was a bit of a waste um in fact yeah the, the, I, I could clean it up but let's just let's just rip about the amount of resources that we're pushing out now to make these books the amount of essence that's coming over is insane we can in, in, improve the book production without too much interference uh, so we'll set these tomes, and that's what they call tomes, not books, per belt. And then at least each belt will have one tome on it, which will go to a specific wizard tower to make the tome level two. And that's what it should look like. So we've got the first belt is earth, second is fire, third is air, and the last closest to us is water. And all we need is one wizard tower per belt. And the first one there you can see is taking in the earth. And all you do is combine them with the stones, right? It's reasonably simple, or I say the stones, the essence. So the earth tome with the earth essence makes a level two. Um, and then the earth, and then the level two with an earth stone makes the level three. But that's resetting the, 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 the thing that we've already done. So I'm just going to go for the level two because it's a... 10 20 time increase in research which for how easy this is that's significant um to go the next stage it's not as efficient in my opinion and as you can see they're all going in same principle one after the other earth fire air water now the belts are full mostly but you will probably see them calm down a little bit i am making a lot of these uh, but I think the magical books that are required are way, uh, like delaying way in a bit. And we need to clear that up. This is the area where we make the Omni Crystals. I'm just going to clear out some of the piping, the mana piping, that is taking them away from us. 
because for now we want these to concentrate on the research only we likely will need them again to turn into omni crystals later on but until we've unlocked all of that stuff it's not worth having the uh, man the crystals on pipes doing nothing and there we go with the two things piped in we are now throwing out the tome level twos for the four well technically not the purple just yet three then of the essences and researchers now that belt's not going to be enough to do them all so i'm going to split that but you can see it's going into a barn which is going into a barn just to get them going give me a backup while i sort out the logistics the transportation of how i'm going to get them sent over to the school as soon as i've done that of course we should be good Clearing up all unnecessary mana pipes that we have down. Two reasons. One is to make sure I've got plenty to do what I want to do next. Which is wire them all up. Or pipe them all up, technically. Um, and two, to make sure that we don't have random mana pipes taking goods that don't need to be. So you can see there is the red coming in, the yellow coming in. I've just set that so you can see now the blue are coming in. And all we need after that is the purple. And we have all four of them working. And that means that we'll have all four Tome Level 2s going to the schools. Checking on the train. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of air essence, apparently, that it's not using. Mm. It's got a bit messy, I think. To be honest, um, I prefer to use the actual... Instead of the item fill to be in the specific ethers so earth ether and blah 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 you can just set it to be any ether so i'll just make the train massive set every single cart to be uh, just ether and then as it goes round, it will take what it can and it will drop off where it can and everything should work nicely making sure that all of the ethers are being taken out of the train station that we set up because that is our only source of the actual crystals at this time And by far the easiest option, though not the quickest, is the airships. As you can see, they are set. Each one has four slots. One slot for each of the research tomes. Re yeah, research tomes. Um, 25 in each. So it should be about 250 research per trip. So I'm sure they're 10 per. And you can see it coming in while this one is traveling over to drop them off. Another one is already filling up. Yes, it's very slow for them to fill up. Uh, but the research required to unlock the actual airship station is, is I don't I don't think it's worth it. So they they load slowly and unload slowly, but they work. And having four, I think three or four in the rotor, you can see as that one arrives, the other one is just finished. That's on its way back to collect more, and this one is now offloading. As this one finishes, the next one will come in. By that point, the first one is already back at the start and loading. So, although it looks slow, the three are given as a constant supply of research. And that works for all of the different researchers as well, going up in, yeah, in tens. So, four trips is a thousand research, and we need like three or four thousand per, so it's not unspeakable in terms of the amount though the production from those wizard towers does need to increase dramatically because you can see how quickly them books tomes are on that belt uh, is not acceptable for what we need basically the airships if the airships travel with an empty slot it's a waste of a journey now how do we speed them up well Blue coins, brilliant, because we have 1.57 million of those. So if we have blue blue coin boosters to them all, that will dramatically increase the tone progress. You can see they're straight away now flooding the belt. And we've got more blue coins than we'll ever need, and I can't imagine we're ever going to run out. Uh, nearly 800,000 gold, 400,000 red, 1.6 million blue, and 3,277 purple. Of which, remember, that the purple are required for the Dubri Schnitzel, also known as the Omnistones. So I've split the belts out there so that 
we've got two. Now, I can just give them one each if they require it, but to be honest, the red one's really chugging along, but the other ones aren't. Did I upload? I don't, probably didn't even upgrade them yet. I'm just looking at the actual math of it. But to be honest, that belt's not quick enough to keep up with the red one, so likely they're going to need a belt each. Now, Omni Construction for the Omni Temple is not unlocked yet. We need to unlock all of the temples first. Uh, and then you can build your own temples, which makes things a lot easier, to be honest. Once you've done that, you can then unlock the Omni Temple. And again, it's it's, it's about four to 6,000 of the research for each. That I've seen, anyway. Just as an example, once you've unlocked the temple so you can build your own, you can build them right next to the source of the stones, just like this. And I've now got two mines, six total lines of, sorry, shoots of the stones going into the forges with the mana. And this will make us a crap ton of the stones that we require, which will more than be able to keep up with the volume that we need to get to that Omni level. We have to do this anyway in order to lock the Omni Stone, Omni Temple. And as you can see now, a solid supply of blue crystals coming in as opposed to that trickle that was coming in at the top. As soon as they arrive at that Mage Tower, we should see a much higher concentration of what's missing. Come on. There you go. The import. And there it goes. And then that with the blue upgrade you've now got, we've now got a constant stream of blue. So we just need to do that. Every time I unlock a temple, I'm going to put it on the closest load of resource. There's some fire ones down here. And some earth down there as well. And get them forced into the mage towers. And of course, increasing that increases research and pushes us ever closer to that end goal of the Omni Tower. And there's an OP red one. More crystals and ether than you could ever imagine. And purple. Finally, we're getting movement. And a lot of mana stones. And an overpowered monster of a quartz farm. That's using the ocean to transport the goods along chutes. Eight chutes in total. Um, to give us an infinite supply of mana. Because quite frankly the recharging is just not cutting it for me. So I'm deleting them all instead. And there's the yellow. So that's now all four temples bought. Or researched. Built. And now crammed to the brim with their required stones the next step I'm hoping is the Omni Temple unless something else comes up that we require to unlock that just look at the amount of things that are travelling on belts and pipes and chutes at the minute mana mana everywhere and I don't think we need more um, everything's running smoothly we're obviously climbing up that research table to the final items that we need obviously you need a lot of mana to make the ethers essences into the stones um, so that's where I'm diverting for that you can see that load on the left hand side was the original setup and that is fueling the original research the level one tomes and then on the right hand side there that mana is being turned into the mana and fueling the mage towers to then make level two research tomes and of course a nice cheap and easy way to fuel all of this is the wound And after much waiting and looking over the logistics, we finally have that number that we need. To build the Omni Temple, you need 200 more of the Omni Crystals. Uh, of course, to do the quest originally, we needed 100, and then that turned into 200 of the Omni Pipes. We've had to make 200 more of those to build the actual temple. What I didn't realize was it was only the first stage of the temple, but nevertheless, that's what we needed. You can see there in the research tab at the top left, 241 so we have enough now to get to that but i am 
overdriving a lot of the other stuff. I've gone around and been while I've been waiting, uh, and I've just been upgrading everything and making everything faster. If anything's backing up, then I've just chucked it in. Here is the Omni Temple, so I'm going to put it in this little place here, just where you can see the Omni Crystals made in the background, which is a really cool machine. And that's it. Uh, it's its floor. And this is what I said earlier. So to do that, we need to provide some res resources. Now, it shows out of 20. You don't need 20. You need more than 20 because there is a percent bar in the top as well. It means it can hold up to 20. Uh, I think it needs 100 of each. So the elixirs and the Omni Crystals that I mentioned, which is what I said to make sure you keep a hold of, this is why. The ones I was wrong, apparently, because... I didn't see them on there, and I thought I did. But never mind. So we now need to get some airships in place, and those resources, like I said, that I already have in storage, we can get the airships to bring them over to this Omni Temple. And, of course, you put them into the Omni Temple, and it will slowly build over time. Its maximum it can hold is 20, but it needs, I believe, 100 of each to complete. And the construction progress bar at the top of that was the percentage of its completion. Now, the airships are good at trans going over land and skipping things and getting there fast. They are slow, though, at loading and unloading, of course. So if you're going to get more than one on it, each of the buildings, i.e. the Omni Temple, is one building. So it can only unload or load. And technically, it's load. Um, one at a time. So I would suggest, is what I'm going to do, is put some temples... Uh, not temple, sorry, uh, some storage barns and some belts so that I can send each of the airships to a barn and then they can offload with the belts and it'll be much, much quicker. Yeah, something like that. So you can see there we have the reinforced planks, the mana rock and what looks like the Omni Crystals. Yes, the Omni Crystals going in each of the airship goes to its own barn and then they get offloaded into there we can speed that up with some blue and we're getting there slowly but surely pushing the resources in and upgrading obviously for me at this time i wasn't sure if there's more than one stage there isn't as a spoiler which provided that you do actually build the building it just needs a lot of these resources to do so and in no particular order it seems that all I'm actually waiting on now is the final item. Which, of course, I could shut down yet another barn. Like so. And then just get them items brought over. I don't really need to upgrade that because it doesn't need a thousand storage, but never mind. It's just giving me something to click on while I'm waiting. Because, like I said, there's a lot of waiting involved here because of how I've done it. That is a lot of elixirs. So they can go into there and they'll immediately go into the... Omni Temple as well, but they can't go in until we get, of course, the Reinforced, which should be flying over any second now. And here they are, coming in, and as you can see, they have to be used up one, one of each, but all four at a time, which is what they was waiting on. So I can speed the process up by now pushing in the Reinforced there. So all four of the items are going in. Our progression is 55% of completion and then the airships will continue to go back and forward bringing over those goods i don't need to make any more to finish off the 100 percent. i already had enough saved luckily because the elixirs i left in a bomb um, and then the other stuff it was always in the background anyway the reinforced these reinforced things here that i've got uh, I've, I've been storing them since the beginning of time pretty much so we're not too worried about those i can use multiple of the airships and that's what i'm doing just to save any time if that one's not enough there'll already be another one on the way and there we go so everything's back over it's stocking up again and out it comes a couple of the items i managed to throw in some extra uh, belts just to double triple speed it up not really necessary 83 percent with the resources still coming in but i'm pretty confident that the resources that we do have are enough because each percentage uh, is one of each item so that is literally a hundred of each item and there's more than that left for the last one percent and done omni temple is complete 
and let's activate it. Click the star, the victory condition, and GG, well played. Battery Town is complete. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome, as always. And if you want to see another one of these, but a different way of doing it, let me know. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.